on. Last Love week we talked here. about uh, the Dark Knight Rises. This week we've got three ones we want to talk about, starting off with The Watch. Yes, The Watch. Now it's going to be hard to get away from the TV this weekend with all the Olympics coverage wall to wall right know, here on yeah. WNWO. But if you do manage to get off that sofa, The Watch is a uh, comedy about aliens and uh, and it tries to be funny, but unfortunately, I want to just preface this. All of the funny bits are in these trailers that you're watching right now. So if you no see, but it is, but it is a pretty fun movie. the The town is uh, the fictional town. The movie is set in is actually Glenview, Ohio. Of course, they didn't film it here. They filmed it in Atlanta, but still kind of gives props to Ohio. With kind of looks like stars, Ohio. stars, you're telling me it's not that funny? Well, Ben Stiller, he tries really hard, and Vince Vaughn, of course, is, is pretty funny. The, actually, the funniest guy in this movie is one of the, one of the members of the Neighborhood Watch, uh, led by uh, Ben Stiller there. It's um, Richard, who is played by, uh, or Jamarcus, who's played by Richard Ayoweda. And he's, he is hilarious. He has a British accent. We find out some fun details about him in the movie and uh, so it's yeah it's, it's this uh, what about Jonah bunch Hill? of you he's, know what he's not I, bad he I kind like of reminded me of Melissa McCartney's character Melissa McCarthy's character in Bridesmaids almost kind of irreverent playing with the cop in the movie and you're just it's, it's just kind of a very what, bizarre what character was, you would know this even though I watched it last week and I don't remember the title I watched um, Jonah Hill and then Channing Tatum what's that movie with the, Magic with Mike no no no, no, no. It's, it's, uh, it's actually it's, it's older it came out like last year. Oh, putting They're me on the spot cops. here. They're oh, cops. Uh, 21 Jump Street. That movie is hilarious. If you're I've looking, heard good if things you don't about go to the that. Theater, I still have to see that. Yeah, and you're trying, if you want to rent something so this weekend. So that one would be a good one. That, I watched it twice. It is so funny. And That's speaking of Channing Tatum, he was in the first iteration of the Step Up movie series. And now we have the fourth one that's coming out also today. Okay. And uh, that one, you know what, if you like dancing and choreography, I hear that this is your movie. If you want a movie with a plot, this probably is not your movie. So if you want a fun time of dancing in 3D yeah. action, of course, down there in Miami, Florida, uh, that's a movie for you. And this was something that helped put uh, Channing Tatum on the map. And now I he's moved that. on to bigger and better yeah. things with like Magic Mike this summer and 21 Jump Street last summer. Uh, so that one is I'm also sure out today. I'm sure there's some type of love story involved. In, oh yes, you know. you know, and dancing in the street and <laughs> exactly. some Miami flavor down there yeah, as well. Yeah, it looks like a, a lot of dancing, a lot of flashiness in that movie, so. Yes, and for The Watch, I did give that two out of five stars. Two I was, out of five stars. I really stars. wanted it to be better, but after like Super 8 last summer, where it was kind of an action alien movie, it just didn't live up to that, okay. to that hype. And All the right. final movie, on another note, which I gave five out of five stars, one of my favorite movies of the summer is Moonrise Kingdom. It's still out in theaters. You can catch it at Levis Commons. It's a very quirky British uh, independent film by Wes Anderson. Bruce Willis is in it. Also Edward Norton, Bill Murray. A very interesting portrayal by Bill Murray. Kind of a serious role, not as um, maybe slapstick as we're used to or something a little different from him. Tilda Swinton is also in this. And uh, it's, a, it's pretty much about a young love, a pair of young lovers who flee their New England hometown, go on an adventure, and of course their families are like, hey, where did you go? We're gonna come and look for you. And uh, you it's the very well done. The, the editing is, done, uh, is awesome. The, the soundtrack is very cool as well. So it's a fun time, and it's, it's not a superhero movie. We've had so many superhero movies we this have, summer. but they've been so much fun. They have, they have. <laughs> but this, this is also a very fun movie. And again, five out of five stars. So if you're giving it five out of five, then it's nine times out of ten. A really and of course, good movie. you can always see Dark Knight Rises because yeah. you know you can never see that. I need to see that again. Actually. I haven't so even seen it for the first time. Maybe drive up to an IMAX movie and see it. All right, James, where can folks go for more information? They can go to ToledoFreePress.com/movies. Also, my blog, TheGoldKnight.com.